Hi everyone, it's Danny. Alrighty, so here is a little update on the Habenaria medusae orchid. Since there isn't a lot of information on the internet about Habenaria orchids, I decided to make a sort of a log on how I will care for mine. Now this is the first time I have this orchid, so I am trying to learn as I go, but the results so far are promising I have to say, and I am a little bit more confident with this orchid, which supposedly is not an easy orchid to keep. But I think with the right information, it's really not that hard. So, right now, this orchid is in the stage of vegetative growth. If you remember, we did a video on it when it was starting to break dormancy. We saw the quorum, or the tuber, not sure how to call it. Uh, we saw it starting to sprout a new growth, or the growing tip, and right now it has just broken the top of the media. The actual quorum is actually potted not too deep, maybe 3 or 4 centimeters. Uh, in the pot, I have read that they can produce, or they usually produce, uh, multiple tubers within a growing season with good care, so you should provide a taller pot so that the tuber has, the new tuber will have more space to develop. So I actually potted the tuber about 3 or 4 centimeters under the soil or the media. For this orchid, I chose to use a sphagnum moss media because it is a terrestrial orchid. You can easily use peach moss um, and perlite. There are various um, medias you can use, but I opted for sphagnum moss because I, I kind of know it. And it does stay moist for quite a while. This orchid is not supposed to dry off. So at this point, I am actually starting to water it, full watering, but because it is in the sphagnum moss media, I am not soaking the orchid. Also, if you notice, I did not provide the ventilation holes. This is because I do have a bit of uh, bark chips here to keep the media more airy. Also, I did not pack the sphagnum moss. It is pretty loosely packed. Maybe it doesn't look that way, but it is. If I press down on it, I would probably compact it up until this level. So that's how airy it is. So how I water it is actually at the sink, I pour a little bit of water and then let the media um, soak in the moisture. I don't soak it in any way. So when I water it, I make sure that I don't get any water in this new growth. They are presumably prone to rotting if water is stuck in this new growth right here. Hopefully you can see there's a little bit of a tunnel so water can get trapped right here. That's what I'm trying to avoid. So I'm just watering on the sides of the pot in this area and actually let the sphagnum moss soaking the water and the moisture in the pot. I will also start to fertilize this orchid pretty soon, maybe in about two or three weeks, but I will use a more diluted solution than I use for my other orchids. This is what I read somewhere, so yeah, I have to try it first to actually presume it's the case. So I will start to fertilize it every three weeks or a month or something like that with a diluted fertilizer solution. I intend to use a high nitrogen fertilizer maybe up until the middle of summer and then switch to a bloom booster because in the fall presumably this orchid should bloom so if in the fall we will get some blooms from this orchid i will do a more extensive video and i will be able to tell you more about its care if it does good so far so good actually i'm feeling more confident with this orchid um so yeah stay tuned and i will keep you updated we'll have a log with this orchid all summer long see how it does and hopefully we will get some blooms. As for lightning, I will keep this orchid pretty shaded. It will be in a bright location, but it will not receive direct sun, maybe just a little bit in the morning time. I will try to place it in my eastern exposure window or something like that. I will keep it in bright light, but not direct full sun. If you want to see the other videos regarding the habanaria, I will add them in the description. I made a few videos just so you see how it looks like, how the corm looks like, or the tuber, uh, how it looks like when it sprouts. And um, yeah, I'll also include the video where I presented when I first got it. So you have a look at the leaves. Alrighty, thank you guys for watching. Hope you found this useful. I really do like habanaria orchids. They're interesting. They're fascinating. So yeah, hopefully they will get more popular and uh, we will have more information information on them. There are such nice varieties out there. It is a pretty diverse family of orchids, I believe. So yeah, hopefully we'll get to see this girl bloom in the winter or um, in, the, in the autumn, actually. Alrighty, so if you want to see more videos from me and stay up to date with the Habanaria Medusa, don't forget to subscribe. You can leave me questions and suggestions in the comments below and I will get back to you. And if you just want to stay in touch with me and see pictures of my orchids and whatever I share, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I'll see you next time. Bye!